Dear citizens, Council met on Tuesday, June 16, in a special meeting of Council, and I will provide you with some update regarding decisions made for the Phase 2 relaunch in our town and its impact on our town-owned facilities. But first, I will give you some information regarding the state of COVID-19 in the Carson Canai uh, County region. As of June 18, we have 38 COVID cases in our area with 15 active cases. We are still on the top of the watch list of Alberta Health. As we enter phase two of the relaunch, I will ask you all to stay aware of the virus around us, to continue hand hygiene and physical distancing, as well as mask wearing where needed. Please keep your guards up in all cases and places. We are grateful for the aggressive COVID testing by Alberta Health Services and Blood Tribe Health. Our community health care providers are doing an excellent job managing and tracing the virus. Let me talk about the swimming pool. We are pleased to let you know that the pool will reopen July 2nd on the strict guidelines, and with modification to programs offered, such as lessons, land swimming, etc. There will be new protocols to be followed to make everyone's experience a good one at the pool. There will be specific rules to keep everyone safe and within the Alberta Health requirements. Anyone using the pool this year will need to be patient and understanding of all the changes. Further information will be provided to the public in days to come. Keep an eye on our website. Let's talk about fields and leagues. In addition to fields being already reopened to families, Men and women baseball leagues will be allowed to play as organized groups, but tournaments will not be permitted. The leagues will need to have one responsible to see that the Alberta health guidelines are followed. And the town will need to be aware of any leagues so that proper mitigation plans are in place to ensure safety. Park washrooms. The washrooms will be opened, sanitized twice a day, but with limited supplies. Users are encouraged to bring their hand sanitizers or wipes. Please note that the Lions Park washrooms will remain closed until the water line linking the future spray park is operative. Library. At this point, the library is awaiting a plexiglass dividers for health safety. Once in place, the library will be able to open their doors. Until then, continue to order your books online with pickup at the curb. Civic Center. The Civic Center will not be available for bookings this summer. The gymnastic club who uses that facility will meet shortly as a board and decide what their programming will look like in days to come. Keep posted. Tourist Information Center. As you may have heard on the national news, the reopening of the border has been postponed from June 21st to July 21st. Due to such short notice to the changes, our operator feels that the tourist information may still benefit travelers by opening now. With approval of a modified schedule, the tourist hut will operate this summer under Alberta Health guidelines. Summer events. Let's talk about Canada Day first. 
due to crowd restrictions still in place in phase two and the Remington Center being closed at this time, the party in a park and other July 1st festivities will not take place this year. Take time to celebrate Canada Day at home, in your backyard or in your doors. Put your flags out and enjoy the day while staying safe, safe with family and friends. Heritage Week. Alberta health crowd restrictions may still be in place in early August. However, council felt that the town may want to see some sort of celebration to cheer up our collective spirit after so many gloomy weeks with COVID-19 while respecting Alberta health guidelines. Council has resolved to strike an ad hoc Heritage Week committee to look at some possible alternative celebrations idea for Heritage Week. Councillor Brown and Councillor Court will represent council. Two designated members at large will be part of this committee as well as members of administration. We wish them well in their planning of new ideas for collective enjoyment. This committee will report to council on July 14th, 2020. Town safety and security. Please continue to be vigilant in securing your property and belongings. Together we can reduce crimes of opportunity in our town. It is always a pleasure to serve you all and to those sick with COVID-19, we wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you.